Look at you. Walking in here like you're one of us. Don't you know this is Powder Ganger territory? This? This is, or was, the big house. New California Republic Correctional Facility. Not much correcting went on here, just slave labor. One day, us prisoners decided to liberate ourselves. Killed the warden, killed the guards, took over the whole damn territory. That'll be Eddie. You can usually find him sitting in the warden's old chair up in the main building. That's us. We got sent here to fix the rails and make some new ones. And for that, we got to use dynamite. Of course, dynamite works pretty good against caravan guards, too. So, that's what we do. Rob and blow things up. Me? I ran with the toughest gang in the hub. You've heard of the hub, right? It's, uh, west of here, I think. Back in California. We've got the biggest, baddest fort in the wasteland. There's water and power, and if we need grub, we just go out and steal it. Well, I don't know. Depends on if you can make it worth my time. Hundred caps sounds right to me. All right, you can go on in. Can't guarantee your safety, though. Just saying. Yeah, whatever. Damn, running low on smokes again. Didn't know anyone would willingly walk into this place. Not unless they were looking for trouble. What's your story? I was a sheriff, believe it or not, for a small town far to the west of here. Short version is that sometimes justice is a little slow. And I helped speed it up one too many times. I'm not sorry for anything I did, but I will do the time. Fair enough trade if you ask me. I understand that Cook was behind it all. I kept my head down the whole time. Didn't want any part of it. I stuck around, figuring the NCR would show up and put things back the way they were. No sense in making myself look guilty, right? Some kind of anti-NCR rebel. Some people just don't like being pushed around and told what to do. He went north with some of the other guys. Didn't say where. Didn't say why. All I know is he's got some kind of score to settle with the NCR. I'm not quite sure the kind of greeting NCR troopers will give an escaped con like myself. Figure it's better to stay put for now. Right now, Eddie and his boys run the place. They've got the guns and the dynamite, so they call the shots. Assuming an NCR pardon comes with the job, and it had better. I also need to be able to do things my own way. Due process has its place. But sometimes it's just a waste of time. I'll need to know that I'm not going to end up right back in prison. Understood. Watch yourself out there. You eyeballing me? Never gets old when something blows up. Damn. It's about time a new customer showed up around here. I was getting sick of dealing with the same faces all the time. I was always the guy who could get things, if you know what I mean. Figured I might as well keep on doing it. I worked in a casino in New Reno, and one of the pit bosses decided he didn't like me. Framed me over some caps, and I ended up in here. This is where the NCR sent prisoners to reform through hard labor. I never saw much reforming around here myself. Don't have any other place to go. I'd just end up back in another prison or dead out in the wasteland. If I don't have anything you like, well, tough. I don't do special orders. See you. Never gets old when something blows up. I haven't seen Myers around. Heard there was a new face around. I'm the doctor around here. Sort of. 
I was an NCR medic for six months, so I'm not exactly a doctor. Still, it's more medical training than any of the other guys here. It also gives me an excuse to stay out of any raiding parties. The gang can't lose its only doctor now, can it? Medical supplies go for a decent amount of caps in the right markets. I figured the quartermaster wouldn't notice any missing. I was wrong. Let's see. I've been a farmhand, a bouncer, a bandit, and an NCR trooper. I don't recommend any of them. The location by the highway makes it a good spot to shake down any travelers passing through. That's why Eddie and the rest are still around. Me, I like having big walls between myself and the wasteland. One night, there was a big explosion from the other cell block. I had no idea what was going on, so I took cover in my bunk. When it was all over, the guards were dead and we were free. Most of the other prisoners scattered, but a few of us stuck around, obviously. Later. Dawes said he let somebody in. So you going to give me a reason not to kill you and throw your body back outside? Why do you care? Answer, you shouldn't. I don't feel like trading life stories. It was all Cook's idea. He and his boys managed to swipe some dynamite and hide it away in their cells. The rest of us just tagged along. Cook's crew headed north while the rest of us stuck around for payback. The NCR called it a work release prison. We lucky prisoners got the privilege of fixing up the rail lines and blasting rock for new lines. They got sloppy though. Some of us managed to hide away some dynamite and look who's in charge now. One mean son of a bitch. Really truly hates the NCR for some reason. He got a lot of the other guys around to his way of thinking. He and his crew went north. I heard talk about some sort of big plan to get back at the NCR, but haven't seen them since. This is Powder Ganger territory, my territory. Most of the guys around here understand that. One, Chavez doesn't. Chavez formed his own crew and have been hitting traitors on their own. Everybody I've sent after him either got killed or weren't able to catch him. That leaves you. What do you say? Chavez is the ringleader. Without him, his crew will fall apart, and I don't give a shit about those guys. Good. Chavez and his boys were last seen south of here. If you're lucky, and he's careless, he might still be there. Yeah, get out of here. What are you looking at? Why? It's because I mess up people so bad they don't know what part goes where when I'm done. Not much. Just killed a bunch of people. Maybe a couple kids, too. Whatever. Dynamite. Lots and lots of dynamite. You should have seen the body parts flying everywhere. I keep an eye on my buddy Eddie. Anybody messes with him and I scramble them real good. Uh-huh. Hey, I've been sent to tell you that while you're not exactly a friend, we know you've helped us out some all the same. We figure some kind of truce is in order. As long as you don't come too close to any of our camps, we'll let you pass without trying to kill you. Of course, the truce is off once we know you're an enemy. Then we'll have to make you leave by force. Your own fault, you understand? See ya. You just walked into the wrong camp, my friend. Hand over everything you've got and we might let you live. That's nothing new. Am I supposed to be impressed? All right. Pickings were getting slim around here anyway. What? I'm happy you cleared that up for me, but we've got another situation to worry about. There's a merchant hanging around near the prison. Something feels funny about him, and I want you to deal with him. Shake him down if he's legit, but if not, take him out. Most people already know we run this territory and are usually in a hurry to get out. Not this guy. It's like he wants us to come get him. Yeah, get out of here. 
Better be careful around these parts. I hear there's powder gangers around and dangerous for merchants like me. Guess I was a little too obvious. I'm actually a bounty hunter. I was hoping to bag some powder gangers if they tried to rob me. Yeah, was a stupid idea anyway. See you around. What? Good. Had him figured for NCR. One of the Rangers, maybe. Anyway, speaking of the NCR, I need you to take a walk down to Prim. The NCR hasn't raised hell over our breakout, and I want to find out why. They're up to something. I can feel it. I know the NCR has troops near Prim, so talk to the locals and find out if any of those troops are going to be coming our way. Yeah, get out of here. Evening. Any luck finding a suitable candidate for our next sheriff? Well, a deputy isn't much good without a sheriff. Uh, so I figured I'd come in here and protect these good people until someone finds us a new one. All right. Goodbye. Welcome back. Good to see you again. I wouldn't know anything about that, dear. You might ask Johnson. See you. Hey there. Hey, youngster. Still hanging about Prim, huh? I might know something, but my memory ain't what it used to be. Sometimes it needs motivating. Well, I swore not to say a word, but an NCR deserter passed through some days ago and traded for his supplies. According to him, the NCR has decided enough's enough and is going to send in a mess of troops to take back the prison any day now. Later. Yeah. Military operations are classified information. Some powder gangers did you wrong, is that it? Get in line. Still, you do look capable enough, and manpower hasn't been easy to come by. All right, fine by me if you want to put yourself in harm's way. I'll mark the staging area on your map. Talk to Sergeant Lee. I'm Sergeant Lee. Lieutenant Hayes radioed ahead to say you were on the way. We've got surprise on our side, and that's about it. Once we blow a gap in the fence, we've got to pour on the fire and keep them disorganized. Our goal is to take out their leader, some assbag named Eddie. With the ringleader gone, the rest will fold. And that's all the briefing you're going to get. Let's go.
Aha! I'm... Aha! Come on! Take it from here. We might have some cleaning up to do, but Eddie's a deady. Gangs with no leadership don't last long. I'll radio Hayes to let him know the prison's ours. But you should swing by to see him the next time you're near Prim. Sounds like the NCR is finally getting off their ass to settle things around here. Don't expect me to get in their way. Watch yourself out there. surprised. Criminals like to act tough, but they're no match for military discipline. Sir? 